So in an earlier video, we talked about how public school teachers in the United States are indeed allowed to teach religious studies in the classroom. As long as the classes are non-sectarian and taught from a neutral academic perspective, education about religion is perfectly legal and does not violate anyone's First Amendment rights. And even though parents do sometimes freak out when they hear that their kid learned about a different religion in school, I also argued that classes like this are a good idea because it helps prepare students to live in the increasingly pluralistic country that we call the United States of America. Topics about religion are in the news every single day, whether it's debates about religious liberty or discussions about Islam. So I'm of the opinion that classes like this can help prepare students to engage these very tough public issues. Well, one school district in Modesto, California is actually already doing this, and you'd be surprised at the results. Modesto, California is a city of 200,000 people, about 90 miles east of San Francisco. In the year 2000, the Modesto City School District implemented a world religions requirement for all ninth graders. Now, a lot of high schools do have religion classes, but they're often optional electives or they're implemented into a world history class. Modesto's curriculum was special because it was specifically focused on religion and tried to tackle tough issues like religious freedom. And this wasn't going to be easy. Modesto is a religiously and culturally diverse city. There was no guarantee that this curriculum was going to succeed. But 15 years later, it seems to be going pretty well. In 2006, the nonpartisan organization, the First Amendment Center, conducted a study on Modesto's world religions curriculum. They conducted interviews with about 400 students, both before and after the class, and they also interviewed school administrators, teachers, school superintendents, and even local religious leaders to see how the class was implemented and structured. And they found several positive outcomes. First of all, they found that Modesto's course had a positive impact on students students' respect for religious liberty and the First Amendment in general. Through their surveys, the scholars found that the students were more supportive of religious freedom, and they also found that the students had greater empathy and understanding for their fellow students who had a different religious affiliation. Secondly, students' basic knowledge about world religions increased. Now, of course, we would hope this would be the case. After you take a class about anything, you would hope you would know more about that subject but it does show that the class was successful in boosting religious literacy. Before the class, the surveyors administered a religious studies test with an average score of 37% correct. After the class, the exam average had increased to 66% correct. And finally, thus far there's been no major controversy parents aren't yanking their kids out of this class. There's been no major lawsuit or outcry at the Modesto School District. People generally seem to be accepting that, yeah, our kids should know more about the world's religions. So from these findings, I think other school districts should be cautiously optimistic about implementing their own world religions curriculum. Now, of course, we shouldn't exaggerate the success. There are some real challenges in trying to implement a religious studies curriculum for a high school, and Modesto has not been perfect. First of all, adequate teacher preparation can be a huge problem. Teaching religion is very difficult. Believe me, I've taught in the classes here at Boston University and through my experience with this YouTube channel, people can inadvertently get offended. People can misconstrue what you're trying to say. And you as an educator need to be very aware of the diversity in your own classroom. A few teachers at Modesto were described as teaching religion from a warm and fuzzy perspective. And this just is not helpful for anyone. As you're well aware of, religion can be oppressive. It can codify racism or misogyny. It can spark violence. So to teach religion from a neutral academic perspective, you need to engage these really tough sides of religion. And I really think ninth graders can handle it. We don't need to sugarcoat our religious studies classes. A second challenge is the school district and teachers need to be aware of religious freedom and free speech issues. Everyone has a bias, but when you're teaching religion, it's especially important that you're aware of this bias and that you don't let it adversely affect your teaching. No one wants a legal controversy descending upon your school. This does not help anyone, teachers or students. And a third challenge is regional differences. Though Modesto, California is sometimes described as the Bible Belt of California, it's still more religiously and racially diverse than other parts of the country. A curriculum that works in California might not work in other parts of the country. A place like Boston or a place like suburban Texas have very different historical and religious backgrounds. Any curriculum on world religions would need to take into account these regional differences. So overall, Modesto, California gives us a concrete example that, yes, 
yes, world religion classes can work at the high school level. Learning about religion at a public school can help boost religious literacy, it can foster respect for religious freedom, and it can also help pull down unhelpful stereotypes and mistrust between religious communities. Now, I'm obviously a huge fan of Modesto's curriculum, but what about you guys? Did I miss any major challenges? Should these classes remain as electives, or do they have no place in public schools at all? Leave your comments below, and as always, thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.